Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I'm going to be painting a surfboard with you. So please let me know if you already, um, if you ordered your kit, because we mailed out a ton of these. So go ahead and let me know if you're gonna be painting with me, and say hi, let me know where you're from. I'd love to see, I don't see any, I see hearts, but I don't see comments. Let me see if I can see y'all's comments so I know people are here. Sometimes I'm like, I see there's numbers, but I don't see the, the names. So I'm gonna be painting live with y'all tonight. Um, and a bunch of y'all, like I said, are doing these with me that had ordered kits. And tomorrow, I am so freaking excited. Tomorrow we have a huge announcement. So how many of y'all were wanting to come to Paint Party Business Live, but you could not get your ticket fast enough? Um, because we sold out in 10 hours. We sold out all 120 tickets in 10 hours. So um, so my brain was thinking, how can I help y'all? Hey guys, hey everybody. Um, especially, you know, we had a ton of new Paint Party Headquarters sisters who um, joined Paint Party Headquarters, but they were, um, we had already sold out tickets, you know, in early March before we ever even opened the doors in May. So, um, so me and my team have been brainstorming ways. Oh, Debbie says I'm on the wait list. <laughs> well, we have been brainstorming ways like crazy to um, try to help because I just kept getting so many messages saying, you know, I wanted a ticket, I couldn't get in, or and they were already sold out, I'm on the wait list. So, oh, and I'm gonna go ahead and just put some white on here, just so it kind of looks like it's primed a little. And um, for those of y'all that are painting with me, let me know. And um, yeah, Yvette says I wasn't able to get to. Yeah, and then some people um, want to come, but you know, maybe um, they're not wanting to travel, you know, at this time. So there's been some people that really wanted to come, but could not actually do the travel at this time. Let me know if that was you. Um, so anyway, so me and my team have been working on something really special, and we are announcing it tomorrow. So there is something, <laughs> something really cool that we are announcing tomorrow. Um, my goal is to announce it in the afternoon, but um, like I said, we have been working behind the scenes like crazy, trying to get everything ready for you. And, um, and I have something really, really special that's going along with it. So we're just trying to make sure it's all, all in place before I, announced to the world. <laughs> Anybody have that when you're like, just want to make sure everything's in place. So we have been working our, our butts off trying to make sure everything is in place for those of you that have, you know, really wanted to have something to do with Paint Party Business Live at Dollywood, um, but really could not get tickets or you're not really sure, you know, maybe you just, you know, join. I know, yeah, Peggy said, I can't travel right now. And um, Lori says, so excited for the announcement. Yes, I, can, I cannot wait. I'm telling you, my um, we never in a million years thought we would sell tickets out that fast. That was number one. And then who would have ever thought this was all going to happen with COVID? So that kind of, you know, I always said I would never, ever, you know, well, I can't say what I'm going to say because it would give part of it away. And I can't do that. It's a surprise for tomorrow. Surprise for tomorrow. Okay, so what I did was I put a little bit of white paint on here. Um... Let's see. Oh, we got somebody from Louisiana. Awesome. Yeah, let me know where you are from. I love that. Okay, I'm going to hit this with a blow dryer for just a second. And then I'm going to show you how um, we're going to do some of the stenciling. I'm going to show you an easy way to do some stenciling on here. Oh, hold on. This isn't plugged in. Hold on. There we go. All right, let me get this blow dried really, really quick. Oh, Tracy from Michigan. We have Nebraska, Victoria. Oh, hey, Victoria. North Padre Island. West Virginia, Seattle. We just want to make sure this first layer is pretty good and dry. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this little wooden surfboard look really cute. Okay, let me grab, um, see if I have a little bigger piece of tape. Oh, you're okay, Blue. You're fine. You can hang out. 
Lou's hanging out with me in my art studio. Let me see. Where is it? I don't know where my bigger tape is. Okay, so whatever masking tape you have is fine. I'm just going to use the smaller. I really would like the bigger. Um, Colleen, I'm going to do a surfboard. And I'm going to kind of show y'all step by step how to do a surfboard. And I had a ton of people order kits early July. So I'm just kind of showing y'all how you can do one. And then tomorrow we are doing a ginormous announcement about Dollywood. So make sure if you are interested in what is happening <laughs> tomorrow sometime after lunch. Oh, Rita, I'll hug Blue for you. Let me go grab him. He, he might want to come over here and see y'all. Come here, buddy. Yeah, he was sitting out in the sun today. And he just, he's like me. He loves some sun, but let's pretend like he's surfing. Blue, you're a little surfer. He says, oh, you got to get your paw on there. He's a little surfer boy. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Isn't he cute? What do y'all think? Blue, blue, up here. Look, blue. Up here. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, buddy? Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Mwah. Love you, baby. Okay, so I'm gonna have him sit right there. He might stay, we'll see. Sometimes he sits right behind me. Okay, so I'm gonna use a peacock teal, and I'm just gonna do the edges. This is where you can pick whatever colors you want. And because this, this um, Masking tape is so thin, I'm just gonna have to be really careful and I might have to clean it up. But that's okay. So I'm just gonna go right over it. I might have to clean up the edges just a little bit, but for time's sake, I'm just gonna go kind of fast over that. Yeah, that tape does not wanna stay very well. <laughs> it just came right up, didn't it? So maybe a little bit better, better tape. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go off this one. And just kind of dash it. These are these cheap brushes from Home Depot, Lowe's, or Michaels. Just real cheap brushes. And those of y'all that are doing Facebook Lives, guys, all I did was go buy some tiles, you know, from Lowe's, and then you can put it down and you can make your, your spaces look different which I think is kind of fun. Okay, so simple as that, just put down some tape. Now you have like an opening. You can make another stripe in here, which is what I'm gonna do. So I want some white. So who is going to watch the announcement about Dollywood tomorrow? Is anybody excited on what's coming? I really think y'all are gonna love this. So we, we not only put together something really cool, but then we kind of like, said, okay, this is cool, but how can we make it even cooler? <laughs> so we, we did that, and then we're um, announcing it tomorrow sometime after lunch. I cannot wait to share with y'all, because I know I have gotten so many messages from people that were disappointed about either not being able to get tickets or not being able to travel right now. So. We are trying very hard to do something really, really cool for y'all, and I really, really hope that you are excited about it because I, I'm excited about telling y'all about it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so excited about all the stuff that, that I'm going to tell you about tomorrow. Okay, let me find the right color. I don't want to do this orange. It, it, it would be okay, but I have a better orange I want to use. Oh, here it is. Okay, this is called Orange Twist. It's like a twist again. Did last summer. I should not sing. That was a bad idea. Oh, good. Lori's excited. Kim's excited. Oh, good. Mr. Potter and Reed will be watching. Y'all will be at the live one. Y'all are going to be at um, Paint Party Business Live. I can't wait. Yes, Mitzi says she can't wait. I cannot wait to, to share. Okay, so this one's going to be a little trickier. 
So I'm gonna use a one inch brush and I'm using Orange Twist. This is a really pretty color if you've never used it. It's a really good color. And then I'm just gonna go over my tape. This is not my favorite tape, so I'm just gonna have to be careful and go right on top of it, and then I'll just pull it right off. Some people leave their tape and stuff on for a long time. I don't know if it's just because I'm a a fast painter or maybe when I had painted you know my start was with painting surfboards that's how my first business started I had to paint so many so fast that I just would do it pull them off do it pull it off because I had to do them so so fast so yeah so if you um, if you're a person who needs it to sit a while that's fine just be careful that it's tape that'll come right up but see how those lines, just even with this tape that's pretty thin, still can make a really great line. <laughs> yeah, Rita, me too. It is Tennessee orange. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how it looks on the camera, but it's like a, it's a really pretty, really pretty color. Okay, so here's what you can do next. So anybody who has their kits at home, that purchase the kits, or maybe you're in Paint Party Headquarters and you're making your own. Here's a, a really easy way to do this. So let me show you a couple of things. So in, um, in Paint Party Headquarters, we have like tracers, for example. And so um, we have tracers that you can use basically black carbon paper and just trace out any designs you want, okay? So all you have to do is just literally put the black carbon paper down and put whatever tracer you want on this and then you can paint it in. So if you wanted turtles on your surfboard, you could do turtles. I'm going to just freehand it, but if you weren't really good at freehanding, you could literally just trace it. So I'm going to do probably, I think I might do the heart. I love the heart design. I might do the heart design and then I might do um, maybe a turtle. Dana says, thank you. Yeah, if y'all have questions, I will definitely try. Oh, Deb, you purchased the kit. You loved it? I love that. I'm so, so glad you did. Yeah, and um, surfboards have my heart because that's where my whole business started from. So I just love painting surfboards because that's where it all started. And Dana says, Heidi, when you paint wood, do you always do a solid color first, like a gray or white, or do you just ever paint the colors on? Dana, that is a great question. Usually I just paint the colors on, but since I wanted a white, um, I wanted the white on the lines just to make it look, I don't know, more surfboardy. I don't know. Um, I just decided to quickly do a white coat and then dry it. But no, normally when I do wood stuff, um, I have wood stuff all over the place. Like, for example, the Vintage Santa. So like the Vintage Santa, for example, this, I just went straight on the wood. So this is literally, Dana, just painted straight on the wood, all the colors. So I just go straight, straight for it. So yeah, usually I just go straight on there. But since, um, Man, this room is a mess. But since um, I wanted the straight lines and I wanted white, I put it on there. Um, Serenity, I'm new. Where do you have kits for sale? Um, so I usually do kits. I just did a batch of them. So I don't have any right now. Um, but we may have something really cool coming for fall. I'm actually testing out something. And then we have a really, really, like I said, tomorrow is a great announcement. Y'all do not... Do not want to miss tomorrow's announcement. So if you do not have, um, if you don't have, if you're not on my email list, like if you don't get my emails, make sure you go to texasartandsoul.com and sign up for, I, I have to think of a couple of free gifts on there. You can sign up for a free gift. So tomorrow you will get the email because we have something really, really cool coming. Oh, you love the Santa. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love that vintage Santa. Okay, so let me hit this with the dryer, and then I'm going to kind of freehand this heart on here. And y'all can see if I can mess up in, person, in, in real life instead of tracing it. <laughs> oh, Stacy, thank you. 
Yeah, we celebrate, me and Bobby celebrated our 23rd anniversary yesterday. We have been married 23 years, and um, we've been together for 23, 24, 25, almost 26 years. So pretty much got married when I was, it was like a child bride then now. <laughs> I was 18. I was 18 for two weeks, and then I, um, I got married. So I just wanted to be married where I didn't have to have my parents' signature. <laughs> Um, let's see. Audrey says, I purchased a kit and I got so excited. I decoupage Jane Davenport mermaids. Oh, how pretty. She has the coolest mermaids, doesn't she? All over one side of the bar board and on the opposite side, I am using your paints and tracers. Oh, how fun. I would love, Audrey, if you would send me a picture of that. I would love to see how you did. Oh, thank you. Okay, so event because we have a lot of questions coming in if i don't get everybody's questions i will i promise i'll try to go back and get them but i have a u.s cutter so i'm thinking about getting a silhouette let me know if y'all think silhouette or cricket i know there's a a big um, back and forth on that but i'm thinking really big about getting a silhouette but i love my u.s cutter but the reason why i am um, oh janelle congratulations and um, the reason why, okay, I can show you, Peggy. The reason why I love my U.S. cutter is because a lot of, like when I do in-person parties, I'll have bigger parties. And when I do that, the U.S. cutter cuts really, really fast. But what I have learned is that a lot of people, um, um, it's, it's a pretty big learning curve for the U.S. cutter. Like it took me a little bit to learn it. So it's a little bit harder for me to teach it. And there's not as many readily available um, tutorials. Like you can go online and find Silhouette and Cricut all day long. Um, so it's a lot easier for everybody to get. So I'm actually playing around with getting a Silhouette just so I can learn more, so I can teach more. Um, so that's the, that's the reason why. But yes, I use a US cutter and, I, and this is what I sent. If you did buy a kit, this is what I sent you. Um, Silhouette, Melissa says, Shauna says, I was a young bride, 18 too. And then Chris says, I was 18 and my husband was 19 when we got married. Been married almost 39 years. Oh my gosh, congratulations. That is amazing. Yeah, I know. I'm very, very thankful for Bobby. He is, he's a good one. I got a good one. Okay, so once you have the surfboard on here, guys, now you're going to be able to um, freehand. So if you were going to trace, all you have to do, if you purchase one of the kits, is just grab which one you liked. And then you can take, oh, sorry. You can take this, put it down. And this is literally just carbon paper. So you can use the back of a paintbrush. You can use a pencil, anything you want. And then all you have to do is just start to draw on there. So I'm just gonna show you really quick what it looks like. And then I'll draw, maybe I'll draw a heart over here. So this, this is really an easy way, oh man. I cut off the turtle's head. <laughs> Dang it. Let me show y'all. I'm going to freehand it. I don't like the tracing. So I cut off the turtle's head. I was tracing it. All right. So the carbon paper just literally puts this on the back. So for those of you doing in-person paint parties or online paint parties or selling kits, remember, if somebody can't freehand, you can easily buy a bunch of this off of Amazon a piece, you know, print out some paper and then you can do this. And if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, I have all this ready for you. You literally just drag and drop and go. So it's ready for you. So I'm gonna just freehand it because I like a challenge. Anybody else like a challenge? <laughs> and I cut off the turtle's head and I'm not happy about that. Okay, so let me find one of my, my favorite pink colors. One second, please. Okay, so I'm going to use the Royal Fuchsia, and I think I have a, let's see if I have any more of this. I, I need to order some more Sea Breeze. Oh, Trisha says, our 25th anniversary is next Wednesday. He is my best friend. He helps me with my wood stuff, my hero. Oh, that's awesome. And Mitzi says, talk to me about Cricut later. Yeah, let me know if Cricut's better than, um better than a silhouette, a cameo. I've heard cameos, don't get mad, but I've heard cameos are really good 
but I think it's kind of like Apple and Android. Like people are like totally, you know, one way or the other. So this is a six and a half by 18. And um, if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, remember we have the tracer for this. So if you're, if you cut this stuff out yourself, you can use the tracer I have for you. And um, if you're not, don't worry. We have, I'll probably have, Actually, I'm going to have some pretty cool kits coming out pretty soon, so I'll let y'all know when those come out. Okay, let's see. It's so convenient. Dana says, honestly, Paint Party Headquarters is worth the cost just to have access to all the designs, but you get so much more than that. Oh, thank you for saying that. Yeah, um, we opened, that's one of our Paint Party Headquarters sisters. We open the doors a couple times a year, and our next time is September 13th. So if you are wanting to have access to a ton of designs and all of that fun stuff, as well as tons of marketing for your business, and um, be ready for September 13th. Mark the calendar, September 13th. And let's see, I think it depends on what you like best. I do like my Cricut, yeah. I love my Cricut. Oh man, we have a lot of Cricut people here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this heart. Let me see where Pixie's name's gonna go. And I'm gonna show you how to use the stencil. So y'all can get totally creative and crazy with this, okay? So actually, I'm going to do heart. Sorry, I just wanna make sure I'm doing this design how I want, okay. I'm just gonna draw it in. And then I'm gonna outline it too. Well, I might do Pixie's name in all black. So if I do, then I might not outline in black. We're gonna, we're gonna see how it goes. How many of y'all have painted this, this coming week? What is today? What is today? Is today Monday? I think it's Monday. <laughs> yes, Trisha. She says I need to lock myself up in my cottage and just binge paint on all your stuff. Yes, you do. Evie has just celebrated her 36th anniversary. Oh my gosh, she says I caught a big fish and so awesome. He helps me with everything. Oh my gosh, that is so great. Yeah, um, I feel the same way. I feel very, very, very lucky to have Bobby. He, um, not only puts up with all my crazy, crazy ideas, he also does a good job helping me. Cause you know, people like, you know, like us, when we're creative, we want to do everything. Anybody else here want to do every single thing? <laughs> like we have so many ideas that we just, we want to do them all, don't we? We want to have all, everything we can do that's coming out of our mind. Like, I have a post-it note in my um, cabinet where my tea is, and it's, it has some of my ideas that I want to do that are literally, like, so going to take me off track from my goals. <laughs> like, they have nothing to do with any of my goals. I think one of them is, like, starting a rum cake business because uh, Bobby's stepmom makes the best rum cakes in the world. And I was like, oh, man, one day I could start, like, doing lemon rum cakes. And I was like, I don't even know how to bake. Don't know. But I want to do one so bad. And I thought, huh, maybe I'll do that one day. And so I just started a post-it note of ideas of things like, just so I won't let it leave my, you know, it can leave my brain so I can have space for painting stuff. But I know if I ever want to start a rum cake baking business, it's right there. It's on the post-it note. I can always go back to it, right? <laughs> but we have to, um, oh yeah, I got pink paint. But we have to like shelf, almost shelf some of those ideas, don't we? If we want to accomplish anything, we have to put some of those ideas on a post-it note, put them by our coffee maker, and just breathe and know it's okay. There will be time to start a rum cake lemon baking business in my next, next um, chapter, if that's where God is placing me to be. But you would think I had so much passion about it for a while. <laughs> so much passion about it for a while that I was like, I gotta learn how to bake. Like, I need to figure this out. This is a big deal. 
But yeah, sometimes that's not where, where God's calling us. <laughs> and we think it is sometimes. We have, to, we have to focus. And it's really, really hard as a creative person sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to pick a couple of colors for um, the heart. Let me see here. I think I'm going to use some of my 24 karat gold because it's my favorite. Oh, thank you, Peggy. Yeah, and I just really, I know, I know how we like think because creatives, man, we are, we want, we just have so many really cool ideas and it's not that any of them are not great. I mean, we're creative. They're usually all great, right? <laughs> but in order to have momentum with our paint party business, you know, with what we're creating, we have to stay focused. And that's what I found that a lot of, um, you know, and I was this way for a long time. Oh my gosh. There are so many things that I did in my, um, in my past regarding my paint party business that I look back and I'm like, really, really? I did that. Like, why would I have done that? You know, but it's just, it gets you to the next step. What are you working on? There's a couple of garage. Oh. We'll just pull that out. Oh, well, thank you for doing that. Pixie's helping um, clean the, we call it the art garage. So, guys, I, okay, y'all know I share a lot, right? I share a lot. But I have never, maybe I should take, Pixie, can you take a before picture? We may be able to share this. Okay, so uh, will you take a before picture? Mom, it's not going to look that clean. It's just moving things. I know, but I, I think I want to show that. I might be cleaned out most of it. Does it, it doesn't... still look pretty bad? No. Oh, well, maybe take a picture of it now. It won't make me look so bad. No. Because it would turn me into episode of Quarters. Will you please? Pretty please, teenager. Who I love because, no, so much. I don't want to show that part of our house. <laughs> she doesn't even want to show it. Okay, so we um, so Pixie is Pixie's embarrassed too. So, do you have a spot in your house that it's just embarrassing, like to show anyone? Um, so I, y'all know I openly share a lot, and I'm using Sea Breeze by the way. If anybody's curious, Sea Breeze. So if you're painting with me. And um, so anybody, hey Helen, hey Peggy. Oh yeah, so um, Peggy says she's just starting out. She's getting her phone, so much to learn. Yes, oh, well that's the thing guys. If you're just learning this paint party world, this um, paint party business, this online paint party business, remember guys, it takes time. You know, great things don't just happen overnight, but I promise you it's so worth it. So we have one spot in our house, it's called, well, Y'all can see, like, we're a mess, right? And this is the good side. <laughs> but uh, we have a spot in our house. We call it the art garage. And it's literally, like, where we put, like, all of my stuff for my paint parties, my extra ceramics, my extra canvas. And um, I'm very, very thankful for this space because we used to have it in a, um, yeah, Seabreeze. Seabreeze is one of my favorites, too. We used to have everything, um, when we lived in 800 square feet and I was running this business, um, we used to have everything in 800 square feet and then all of my canvas and my um, ceramics and all of that kind of stuff was stored in the garage. And we were in a place where when it rained, um, it just flooded. I mean, I would be so, so upset because it would rain and then all of a sudden I'd be like, oh my gosh, all of my stuff. So we had to build like these shelves and then one time, because it was by these rocks and this rain, I went to go get my canvas off of the shelves and I was standing on this ladder. All of a sudden I looked down and there was a rattlesnake coiled in the corner, right there in my art garage, which we called then too, the art garage. And I was like, Baby! I was screaming and I was like, I was frozen. I couldn't even move. And I was like, there is a baby rattlesnake, which they have the most venom. And, um, and I was like, oh my gosh. And so Bobby like just picked me up and grabbed me and moved me away. And then he fought the snake and, and killed it. I don't think it was a big fight, but I was really scared because, you know, rattlesnakes are, they are not pleasant creatures. And so um, anyway, so now I am very, very, very grateful for this space. Um, but we have so much, you know, 
the business has just like really grown and I'm so thankful for that, but it's grown so fast in such a short amount of time that it's like, I just paint, move, paint, move, paint, move. And now it's turned into like an episode of hoarders. And so does anybody else have an episode of hoarders happening in a couple of their rooms? Cause I totally do. So it's one of the places that I have not openly shared because I'm afraid y'all will think bad of me. I don't want y'all to, to judge me in a bad way. Cause it's, it's really bad. It's bad y'all. I mean, it's fun stuff, like real fun stuff. And this one doesn't have the snake in it. This one's really fun. But no, it's this one's snake free. But it's a really, really fun, um, fun room. Like especially if you're into painting. I mean, there is every kind of palette, ceramic, um, basically anything you want to paint is in there. So whenever Pixie, if she has friends over, I'm like, I'm like, y'all are welcome to grab whatever you want. <laughs> Go to town because there's a lot of fun stuff in there. Um, but yeah, it's, it is a little embarrassing. Oh, let me grab a yellow. Hold on. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna use a yellow too on this. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> Angie. <laughs> okay, good, I'm not alone. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll show y'all. Right now I'm still a little too embarrassed to, to show, to show my, my full true hoarder self. <laughs> <laughs> my mother-in-law just stopped by she said no do not show it never. <laughs> no, she, I just spit all across the room she says never show it yeah I told y'all it's bad it's bad y'all are saying show it but when you see it I think you'll be like she shouldn't have showed it she shouldn't have showed it yeah. <laughs> okay so I'm gonna paint the sun here and then yeah, I haven't even told y'all my real bad snake stories. I think I've only told those once. I have some, I have a lot of snake stories. Oh, I hate snakes so much. Okay, so I'm just drawing in some sunshine. And I'm glad I'm the, I'm the only one. Oh, Tanya says I need to see it so I will feel better. Okay, so I'm using two oranges, jack-o'-lantern. I think you're trying to, Tanya, I think you're trying to trick me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Orange twist and jack-o'-lantern and cadmium yellow. So all of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kelly for four days and you got rid of it. Yeah, I would have gotten rid of it too. Oh, or did it escape? Did it escape? Do you know where it's at? Please say you know where it's at. I hate him. I hate him so much. Yeah, so after me and Bobby first got married, um, we bought this house. It literally cost $6,000. So remember, I got married when I was 18, and we found this land right on a river, and we were, we were so happy. We were like, oh my gosh, we're gonna get this house. And it was a trailer house, and it was like six grand. And, um, and it was bad. Like our cars were worth more than this house and you could like poke holes in it. It was so bad. It just needed to be a big bonfire. And, um, it was just falling apart. All the insulation was falling off the bottom. Like when I would take a bath, one of my, <laughs> I can't believe I'm sharing all this story time while we do surfboards. I just want y'all to see that. <laughs> There's hope. There's always hope. Um, while I would take a bath, the water would just go down the drain, and my dog, Kiara at the time, would just be like licking the bath water. It was so gross. But anyway, that's how much there was no insulation. There was nothing. And I remember coming home one night. We were playing mini golf in, in, um, in Austin. We used to live in a little place called San Gabriel. And we were coming home, and um, I, it was like 2 in the morning. We drove home from Austin. And I came in and there was a, um, like a five foot snake across the bathroom. And I literally had my pants half down because I was about to go pee. And all of a sudden I froze and I was just starting, I was like, what am I gonna do? Like the freaking snake was across the entire thing. I mean, it was ginormous. And so I just started screaming like crazy and I ran outside and I locked myself into the car. And then, um, and I was just screaming and crying and screaming and crying because that was not the first time. I had a water moccasin come at my head one time in that place. I hated that place. And um, 
that man, I prayed so much in that house. I was like, so many prayers. But it was just so many things. And anyway, Bobby and um, my brother-in-law at the time, had um, they had to like attack it and get it. But that thing was fighting them. And so every time I would have a snake story, I'd like go move in with my parents for like two weeks. And then I would just pray and pray and pray, please God protect us, please God protect us, please God protect us. And finally, that was the kicker. I was like, we are out of here. And that's when we moved to Florida. We were so sick of that. I was like, get me away from Texas and these snakes and the stupid river. So now I'm just like all about, so, you know, we moved to Florida for almost 10 years and then we came back. But that's, that place, we were there two and a half years. I have so many stories from that place. Oh my gosh, crazy stories. I won't bore, I won't bore you with all of them, but it was, it was an intense two and a half years, that's for sure. And then years later, so <laughs> this, is how, this is how young, dumb, and in love we were. Still in love. Still a little dumb, but, you know, real dumb back then. We um, had a um, heated water bin, and it had, like, storage in the sides or whatever, and I love that thing because I sleep with a heated blanket year-round. And um, Bobby didn't tell me for years, but finally, like, years after we moved, we had, um, oh, my gosh. I saw one in my backyard, and I said, you have to go now. I command you. Oh, oh, yeah. I get yeah, no snakes here. I'm so grateful. Um, and Bobby, um, what was I saying? Oh, he told me years later, y'all, this is a true story. Oh my gosh, it freaks me out. I'm gonna get chills. He told me years later that when he moved the bed, there was a freaking snake skin under the bed. Under the freaking bed. Uh-uh, mm-mm, mm-mm. I, I just hate it. I hate it so much, so yeah. That place was not my friend. I'm very grateful. So now when we look at like houses or something and it's kind of close to a river, I'm like, nope, I'm good. Nope, not doing that. No, nope, I'm good. I don't need a river. <laughs> don't want a body of water. Please, no. I'm good. <laughs> very, very creepy. So we have lots of road, <laughs> on a good note, we have lots of road runners here and no snakes. <laughs> so we're, we're all good. <laughs> I learned my lesson. So yeah, I, I don't. I still don't think I want to show you the art garage because it, it's a, it's craziness. So crazy. Okay, so I'm just painting some orange in here, and I'm gonna go over it with some lines. Sorry, I got kind of off topic, sharing a little snake story. For those of y'all that are joining me, remember um, tomorrow. What is happening tomorrow? Those of y'all been there, that have been watching. What are we announcing tomorrow? Does anybody know? For those of y'all that are just joining, you can share with them. We have something really, really cool happening tomorrow. And I cannot wait to share. It should be ready by tomorrow afternoon. Ooh, coyotes. Roadrunners, Kelly, they're so cute. They're these birds that run around, just like the roadrunner you see on the cartoon. No, not just like that. They're like that. They're not chasing a coyote, but... It's not chasing the coyote. The coyote's chasing him, and he's blue and really tall. Well, I just picture ours like a little... Like a little roadrunner. Like a cute little roadrunner, like on the show. No. They're cute, Pixie. Yeah, but not on the show. This is... Anybody else got a teenager? Just saying. (laughs) This is my life. (laughs) The roadrunner on the show looks like the Baskin-Robbins roadrunner. Well, I don't know exactly how to describe a roadrunner. They're just cute. And they they like to eat bugs and keep things away nice. Yes, Dolly. Yes, so tomorrow, if you have not already heard, we have a huge announcement about Dollywood. So if you have not heard, tomorrow, sometime in the afternoon, I'm going to be sharing that announcement. So make sure you watch for my live. If you haven't signed up to get notifications, if you send me a message on Texas Art and Soul, tomorrow when I send out my little um, robot thing that sends out a message, it will actually send one to you saying, Heidi's about to go live to make her announcement. Um, (laughs) Stacy, I'm a six-year-old and I'm 47, pray for me. (laughs) 
<laughs> oh my gosh, six years old. Pixie was so cute. She's cute now. But she was really cute too when she was six. When she was four, she loved me so much. The other day we were sitting on a swing and um, she was tired. Oh, and I'm adding in a turquoise. She's called turquoise blue. And we were sitting on the swing outside and we were just talking. And we were having this moment and all of a sudden she went to lean on my shoulder and then she realized about halfway into my shoulder that she was about to touch me. And she, she's laughing and she went right. I was like, dang, four year old Pixie would have cuddled on up. Not this one. It was funny. She's just over here in the corner laughing. You wanna say hi? Pixie will say, here's Pixie if y'all haven't met Pixie yet. This is my sweet, sweet 14 year old Hi. who loves to cuddle. She, oh, you gotta, you gotta get in the, there we go. she loves to Hi. cuddle. See, yeah. she loves to hug. She loves to hug me. <laughs> she wants to hug me. Hug, just not noodle arm it. Just real hugs. Just want a real hug. Real hug. <laughs> One day, I hear they come back. I hear the come back. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> Kelly says hi, Pixie. Hello. Yeah, it's funny though. She was just like, oh, it was so funny. She's like, I'm about to touch my mama. I do not want to cuddle. <laughs> I'm at the age where I do not want to cuddle. Oh, Mitzi says, I have an almost 14. She says, hi, Pixie. Hello. Robin says, hi. Tanya says, I have a soon-to-be 14-year-old. Oh, Debbie has teenage grandbabies. No way. I say like I mean it. <laughs> Peggy says, hi. Lori says, she's beautiful. Tanya loves your name. Okay, so I just added, I'm going to add some details over this so it'll kind of pop. Let me see if I can still fit her tracer. Okay, so this is just the, um... A vinyl stencil. I'm using Oracle 813 for those of y'all that um, are familiar with vinyl, things like that. It's an Oracle 813. It's kind of like an airbrush. Janelle, do they cuddle again or we? is it done? Is after? So, so whoever had the six-year-old, enjoy because, yeah. She's a, she's a teen. She's turning into a beautiful young woman. Okay, so I took off the back. It's like a big sticker now. And I'm just gonna place it. And I'm just gonna, you can use a credit card or you know something to just kind of push it down. When I do this at in-person paint parties, I usually just have, especially if I'm doing a larger party, I'll have them come up. And then I'll have them actually come up and watch me do one first. Usually I help somebody do on, you know, on theirs. And then I say, okay, grab a partner because you have to grab the top layer. So it takes some fingernails. So if you don't have fingernails, make sure you grab and um, make sure you, you know, get a, get a friend with some fingernails. <laughs> Debbie says Pixie the hugger. <laughs> I don't think she heard me, but that's a good one, Debbie. It's really good. Oh, Janelle, good. Okay, so they they come back for hugs later. That's good to know. Okay, so I've been doing this a long time, so it's pretty easy for me. And um, I just grab like this, and then I pull really, really horizontally. Like, I don't pull vertically. So if you ordered one of these kits, and you're doing this with me right now, Make sure you are pulling. See how I'm pulling that to the side? Almost totally flat. You have to do that versus trying to go up or it's just gonna pull it up. And then I just kind of push my fingers down right along the edges. And then I'm just gonna take um, a bit, I'm just gonna use this big brush so it's faster. And I'm gonna do black. You can do any color you want. But sometimes I like the contrast of the black with all the, the bright colors. So I'll show you how quick this works with a stencil. Oh, I forgot. I have something fancy. Hold on. I got these Martha Stewart daubers from Michaels. 
Just fancy. Do you need me to do something real quick, Shereen? It's a bunch of signatures again. Okay. Um, do you have them ready and I'll just take a quick? Yeah. Pixie, will you do this for me real quick so I can do that? I'm awesome. Just put it down for just a second. It won't take me long. Okay, so Pixie's going to do this part and then she's going to pull it up and then I'll be right back to show you some highlights. Hi. I'm not very good at this. I use. Oops. Don't tell her. I forgot that she was painting. He looks fine. I'm not usually that good at stencils, so. If I can do it, so can you. What's my favorite color? Mm, it's been purple for a long time, but it's starting to switch over to either really light blue or really light pink. Thank you. Oops. It'll be fine. Can you see that? That little bit. <sighs> Just, I don't know. Let's see. I'm actually not doing school this year. I'm doing a homeschool. So, yes, I am ready for school. Okay, now we're pulling it up. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't know what to do now, so I'm just gonna sit here. You wanna see blue? I'll go grab blue. <laughs> oh wait, no, she's back. Good. Oh, I'm back. Ta -da. Oh, thank you. Do you have the um little picker? Oh, I can just use my fingernails. Hey guys, sorry about that. Okay. Oh, they said nice job. <laughs> yeah, it pulls up really easily. Thank y'all so much for um, letting her jump in. Okay, so we have that. So now what I'm going to do is just take my liner brush, and I'm just going to add some details here. Oh, she used all my... I'm going to put this in here so I don't forget. How many of y'all, like, lose your... your um, you know, your brushes? I did that Mod Podge of Dolly the other day, and... Um, I totally forgot to rinse the brush, and the next day it was destroyed. Does anybody have any tips for that? I know I've used um, some, what's it called? Murphy's Oil Soap, but that one did not seem like it was even doable. Okay, so I'm going to try to zoom in. Oh, thank you, Peggy. Thank you, Mitzi. Yeah, she did do a great job. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of outline this and make some waves in here. So hopefully y'all can see this. And then I'm going to add something else kind of neat to the pixie. And then, um, again, when you do these surfboards, you can do both sides. 
And you can kind of go nuts on hibiscus or whatever you want to add to it. So I'm just gonna kind of outline this and I'm using a liner brush. And if you have shaky hands, I recommend a couple things. Hold your pinky as a balance. And then also another tip, don't drink a lot of caffeine. If you know you're gonna be going to, to do a live or a paint party, don't drink a lot of caffeine. Cause I've had days where, especially when it's cold and there's a lot of really great like Hallmark movies on and I'm painting all day. I'll just drink coffee and I'll have tea and the next thing you know, I'm trying to paint something and I'm like, why can't I keep my hands straight? And it's because I've like over caffeinated myself. So, okay, so I'm going to bring this in here and then I'm just going to go in and kind of like add those lines back just for definition. Can y'all see this? Let me know if you can. Oh, vinegar and Dawn soap. Oh, that's a great idea, Mitzi. I love your name, by the way. It's so fun to say. So I'm just going to outline this. Okay. And then now what I want to do is actually come in. I'm going to twist and pull my paint. Oh, good. Y'all can see it. Okay. I'm going to twist and pull my paint like that so it's a pretty good um and these are just some craft smart actually these are the ones i got from gare the royal and lang lang nickel and um, i'm just gonna kind of go in and do little um waves okay so i'm just dipping and doing little waves so I'm bringing it up. And again, those of you that got the kit, the waves are drawn on there. So if you're nervous about that, you can literally just trace it on there. But I'm just going to kind of do it. Let me see. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to freehand it because it's just a little bit more of a fun challenge for me, but I just bring it up, over, up, over. And from surf, doing all those surfboards back in the day, it's just kind of a, it's just kind of fun for me to do, so. But you don't have to freehand it. Let me know if you've done one of these before. And if you did, did you add hibiscus? Did you add flamingos? Like, what did you add to it? I would love to know. Let me see. Oh, I'm trying to let y'all see it without. Let me try to keep it right there. What do you recommend for just starting out for equipment to do lives? Oh, Peggy, that's a great question. Um, I have many of these Archon stands. Um, they may be sold out right now, but if you use Texas Heidi, it's called Archon, um, Archon.com. It's like A-R-K-O-N.com. But if you use coupon code Texas Heidi, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but you'll get like a 20% off discount. Um, but those stands, oh my gosh, I have three of them. I use them for all of my online teaching, um, for time lapses, and then I use ring lights as well. So that's why you're able to see this pretty good. It's because of the ring lights. If I didn't have the ring lights, it would be really, really dark in here because I have like basically one, one light above me. And I've been thinking about having Bobby have ring lights that are like mounted, but he said it might cast too much of a shadow. I'm just bringing this in. Okay. That's cut them together. All right, so then you have that on there. This is where you could do some kind of fun stuff. If you wanted to like do some dotting, 
just kind of to add some different tape to stuff. You could do white dots, black dots, and just add some stuff to it. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlight line using the um, lighter color, okay? All right, let me show you that, and then I think this will be almost done. Okay, so let me see here. How's everybody doing? Let me check in with y'all. Everybody doing good? I hope your painting is going well. Yeah, the Flamingo Peggy is in Paint Party Headquarters. So on um, Paint Party Headquarters, you can grab the Flamingo um, full tutorial and the tracer. Um, let's see. Oh, Debbie, she said, I added three hibiscus on each side. That is awesome. Very cool, Debbie. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to go with the Sea Breeze. And then watch what happens when you put a really light color just on the side. Let me show you. So it kind of does twofold. It kind of lets the, the name pop without just having to do a, you know, a regular, you know, any color. You can actually just pick a really light color of something you like. So if the name is done in black, I can pick this light sea breeze. And so it helps clean up the edges a little bit because I'm going right on top of it and right to the left of it. Does that make sense? To the left? To the left and then um, right on the inside too so it just kind of cleans up the edges as well as makes it pop so you can go behind that depending on what font you used I just used a generic font that came with the US cutter but you can go on Etsy, um, especially those of y'all that have a Cricut or a Silhouette. <laughs> now that we're learning, a lot of y'all have different ones um, that have a huge, it's like the Android versus the iPhone, you know, with the Cricut and Silhouette. And if you just get on, let me know which one you like better, Cricut or Silhouette. So I'm just kind of going through, but yeah, I have just the, some of the generic ones, but you can go to like, Etsy or defonts.com. They have tons and tons of um, different fonts you can purchase. Just make sure if you are purchasing and you're doing stuff for sale like I do and like we do in Paint Party Headquarters, make sure it has the commercial, the commercial rights. Oh, thank you, Lana. And my granddaughter saying, oh, that's awesome, Debbie. Debbie, I would love to see how your surfboards turned out. I bet they're so, so pretty. Um, yeah, make sure you have the, if you're downloading fonts and you're selling, like if you're doing, you know, commissions like this, make sure you have the commercial. So like a lot of times it'll say you can, you have rights to sell, you know, 200 times or something like that. So just make sure you're, you're being ethical with that. A lot of times people don't know that just like Pinterest. People just think, oh, it's on Pinterest, it's a free-for-all. <clears throat> no, Pinterest is to help inspire, but it's not to just have you copy if you're gonna be making profit, you know, if you're gonna be actually selling your stuff. So just make sure you're careful with that. I'm just adding a little bit of that in there, okay? And then, so now, see how it just kinda comes together? Oh, uh, thank you. Okay, so it kinda just really comes together when it has that little highlight. And then real quick, shut up, <laughs> Bob's making fun of me. Um, and then real quick, I'm gonna do just a little pink um, hibiscus right here on the edge, okay? So I'm gonna do one of those. <laughs> Chanel, your inner curve on you. <laughs> okay, so I think, I, I'm not really sure what that means, but maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of this and just kind of freehand a hibiscus going off the side here just so it kind of brings in from that heart and then how many people are going to be tuned in for tomorrow's big announcement oh my gosh this so what I'm what I am offering tomorrow I feel like um Chris Harrison in The Bachelor the most dramatic season ever what I am offering tomorrow is 
literally something I have never offered before. I am so, so excited. It's something brand new um, that only my team knows about and Bobby and Pixie, of course, but nobody else really knows what it is yet until tomorrow. So um, make sure you set, I'm gonna fill this in y'all with this pink. Um, make sure you set your like, make sure you watch for my email. I don't know, maybe set an alarm. And if I haven't sent you an email by two, and um, we're hoping to have everything finalized. I'm gonna be staying up late tonight working. Um, we're hoping to have everything finalized so that I can have it released by 2 p.m. But please don't quote me on that because like I said, if I have some tech issues, I don't want to put this out in the world until um, it is completely ready. But it is literally, never. I have never, ever, ever offered something like this before. I'm really, really excited. Um, I think you're really, really going to like it. I think you're hopefully going to really, really love it. Um, so if you, you know, have been interested in anything to do with the Dolly Paint Party Business Live, um, but the tickets sold out, you know, or you're, you've been interested in some other really cool stuff. I have like a really big bonus um, for people who sign up for what I'm going to show you tomorrow um, by a certain date. So those of you that sign up within a week um, of what I'm going to tell you <laughs> tomorrow, we'll have this really, really extreme opportunity that I have never done before. Not even, not even with Paint Party Headquarters. Like it's total, it's something totally new that I've never done before. So I'm a little, little, um, like a kid in a candy store kind of feeling like kid at Christmas, I guess you could say kind of feeling and just excited to see, you know, how this is going to help you in your business, but also something really, really cool that we're going to get to do together. So if you're um, excited about that, let me know in the comments. And um, yes, Yvette will hear, um, Paint Party Headquarters will hear about it first, definitely. Just like with um, Paint Party Business Live, um, Paint Party Headquarters will definitely hear about it first. So I'll go live in Paint Party Headquarters first, and when I'm announcing it, and then I will go live on Texas Art and Soul to announce it. So, um, so definitely make sure tomorrow you should be hearing something from me. The goal is by 2 p.m. That's what I'm trying to, to hit that goal by 2 p.m. But um, if not, I'll put it on an announcement or an email saying we're a little bit delayed. But yes, we are hopeful by having everything by 2 p.m. Yes, Trish, I am giddy. I'm. I'm so excited. I, I just like, it's been coming together. Like I've really been trying to rack my brain on how we could make something really cool work because y'all know I'm not a person that just likes to do things halfway. Like I'm, that's not my personality when it comes to this kind of stuff. Like I'm one of those people that I'm like, well, this would be cool. But if we did this, 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 and this, this would be way cooler, you know? So I am, I get really, really excited about um, trying to put together, you know, stuff that not only I know you can use and it would help you because again, you know, this is stuff that I'm using in my business all the time, but also something that is fun, you know, something that's exciting. Like, isn't it fun to like have things to be excited for, you know, not just like, yeah, I'm going to go learn something, but like, how can I learn it and it be really, really fun? You know, because we're artists after all. We're creative folks. We want to learn creatively. We want to have some fun doing it. So I need to be quiet or I'm going to give it away. I need to shut my mouth. I'm going to not be able to. Is Paint Party Live the same as Paint Party Headquarters? Um, no, I bet. Um, I'll explain the difference. Aletha says, Paint Party Headquarters will get an email. Yes, Aletha, you'll get an email and I'll probably go live in Paint Party Headquarters um, to make sure because I know sometimes people's emails go to spam. Same thing with Texas Art and Soul. I'll, um, I'll go live on, I'll send an email to everybody once that's open and then I'll also go live on Texas Art and Soul. Um, but yeah, so Paint Party Business Live, last year was our first one. Um, so we did a live event in um, at the Stockyards in Fort Worth. 
and it was really, really awesome. And this year we totally stepped up the game and it is um, live at Dollywood. So we are, for those of you, I mean, we're totally social distancing. Um, we have everything set up, but what happened was we sold out those tickets in 10 hours. So in March, the beginning of March, we sold out those tickets. Well, then we opened up Paint Party Headquarters again and we literally doubled Paint Party Headquarters. So now we have over 1,500 members and only 120 could sign up for Paint Party Business Live. So me and my team have been trying to rack our brains like how can we offer something that would be really, really valuable for those that can't travel, really valuable for those that wanted to come but could not get tickets, but how could this be valuable but also be different than what Paint Party Business Live is? Because it's very hard to replicate a live event, you know, in two and a half, I mean, because we do a full two and a half day, like it's a full two and a half day immersion with tons of surprises and lots of stuff. So we kept thinking, how can we do something really cool that would make people like really want to be a part of it? And I could still teach, you know, really cool stuff. Like how could we do all of that kind of stuff? So anyway, I think, oh, I'm going to use some glitter for those of y'all that are watching the craft twinkles. This is one of my favorite glitter glues. Favorite. No, Tammy, I can't spill it yet. I can't. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Debbie says, I can't wait. I'll be at work, but notifications will be on. Yes, so, um, yeah, I can't spill it yet because I, I have all, we're still working out a few of the last minute things. Um, and I want to make sure when I spill it, <laughs> I am making sure I am giving all the correct information because that would be the worst if I, if I said something that was not accurate. So I want to make sure everything is aligned. So that's what I'll be working on late tonight with my team. And then tomorrow we will be giving you the scoop. I'm so excited. Okay. If y'all have never used glitter glue, now is your chance to start. It is beautiful. And um, Aletha, we're hoping 2 p.m. Central, but um, we are... That is for not a for sure. That's our goal. We're shooting for 2 p.m., but that's that's a goal. But yes, tomorrow should be something. Um, Stacy says, I actually have season passes for Dollywood. I wish I could have gone to your event there. I know. So we are uh, we are definitely going to be partnering with Dolly every year. So for those of y'all that you know can't come to the live event this year just know that next year we've already made a choice because what we have going on is, is so amazing. Um, we are partnering with her next year as well. So um, if you missed it, make sure you go to my website and get on the, the wait list. It's on texasartandsoul.com and then at the top you'll see Paint Party Business Live. And when you click on that page, you're gonna see a wait list. I highly recommend you get on that wait list because we will keep that wait list active. So um, next year, whenever we open it, again, for the two and a half day public, like when you're in person, um, you're, you're going to love it. Last year was amazing. And I feel like this year, we've just totally stepped it up about a hundred notches. So I think, I think every year it's just gonna get better and better. So we are very, very excited. And we have a lot of really cool special guests coming in um, for speaking. We're following all the social distancing um, so that you know everybody feels comfortable. But um, for those of y'all that you know couldn't get a ticket, it's okay because tomorrow, I think you'll be very, very happy. Okay, so this is Crystal Craft Twinkles for those of y'all asking. Okay, so let me scroll back out and show you just a little bit about how it finished. So this is just a, the wooden surfboard. So if y'all did the kit with me, I would love for you to send me a picture of how it turned out. And then this is just something simple. So it's just the, the easy hibiscus. And then let me know if you like the glitter addition. Oh, good. Yeah, and Kimberly, it's just the craft twinkles. Just deco art, craft twinkles. And I love the crystal. 
The crystal is my favorite. If y'all need to screenshot that, I'll leave it for three, two, one. I know there's a delay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I love the way the glitter looks and it looks even better in person. So yeah. Okay. So any questions that I can answer without spilling the surprise? Any questions before I go? So again, um, thank you all of y'all that bought the surfboard kits. I know um, Pixie and Bobby and myself all helped put these together for y'all. Um, and Pixie wrote sweet little notes in there. So I hope you got those. So those of y'all that bought the kits, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting our business. And then um, tomorrow something really awesome is coming your way. So make sure you are watching, okay? So if you want to be on, and um, if you don't already get my emails, go check out my website, texasartandsoul.com. You can get a free gift on there on the front page or get on the wait list for Dollywood. And then, um, oh, I don't, Colleen. Colleen is the name of this font. So with the, um, Kimberly, with this US cutter, this was just the ones that came up. Um, with the U.S. Cutter program, and it was called Colleen. So that's the one I used for this. But you can um, find any any font, maybe defont.com, and find something cute. And um, yes, Yvette, I do polyurethane after. So the one I like, and again, there's many, but this is the one I usually grab. There's a bunch, y'all. There really is. I'll show you a couple of the other ones. So this is another surfboard I did with the turtles. And then here's another one with just hibiscus. Y'all can tell I really love blues and turquoise. And then this is um, the one I did tonight. And then I'll just do like the polyurethane. You can get it at Lowe's, Walmart, whatever. And I just do clear gloss. Clear gloss, so I'll take it outside and I'll just spray it. You know, I'll just do like one really good spray on it and I'll let it dry outside for like an hour. And then after that, then um, then it's good to go. You can set it on a shelf. Again, these are decorative. They're not meant to, um, you know, be used for real surfing. They're decorative, but you can put them on a shelf or you can even hang them up, put it back and hang them up or do something like that. They're pretty cool. Okay, and um, yeah, Aletha, usually I sell mostly local kits, but this last time we did a round where we shipped them all over. We actually shipped them one to Puerto Rico too. And um, so we may have something coming in the fall. I have something really cool that I'm working on that I'm gonna be sharing with Paint Party Headquarters. And then I think I'm gonna do um, something with that as well as a kit. So we'll let you know. But the big, big announcement y'all need to, to be ready for is for tomorrow. And um, let's see. Oh, thank you, Stacy. All right, guys. Well, I am going to go work on what I am going to get ready for y'all tomorrow. We have the final touches. So I'm going to go work on that stuff so we can be ready for the 2 p.m. announcement tomorrow. And um, thank y'all so much for painting with me. And just let me know if you have any other questions. And I'll try to come back and look at these later tonight. All right, guys. Oh, you're welcome, Peggy. Thank y'all for spending time with me. It was a lot of fun. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you soon.